Yeah, she seems cool. Hey, Peppermancy. I was so excited to meet with all my newbie sisters. Talked with them about how amazing you are and how you helped me and insisted that we must vote for your party. I feel it worked really well. They could sense the genuine enthusiasm. They were especially interested in the mentorship program. I mean, I'm excited for it too. It looks like a great opportunity for all of us. Oh yeah, dang. All right, Yuenia is going to talk to the academics. What's her face is talking to the explorers. Oracles. I guess you could talk to the producers for me. But before that, let's talk my, to my favorite mathematician witch. To the attention of the witch Fortuna the moment of truth. Let's confirm whether our paths align or diverge. I should have invited someone else with the team overcrowding my entire tiny living room. Assign tasks and then... Alright. Uh... Alright. I'd like you to... Yeah, what do I want you to do? I want you to promote our program. Go to the producers. Ooh, exciting. I'll go and spread the good word, absolutely. I must confess that you surprised me when you decided to run for leader yourself instead of supporting Jasmine. But I'm glad you opted to follow the wise path. We must devour Idana. Good day to you too. The question now is whether I support you, should support you or Jasmine. Both of you want to keep the ban on forbidden arts, and I believe that's a mistake. I tried to pressure Jasmine into changing her program, but that didn't work. My support could be very valuable. I have the means to sway opinion of practically every academic. Willing to change your program for, to free access to the Forbidden Arts? No. Hmm. It's a pity. I shall stick with Jasmine in that case. Come a long way. I'm sure we'll find a way forward in the future. Couldn't we? No. Goodbye. Yeah. We don't change the program mid-campaign. Dahlia has been selling her free access uh, policy regarding the forbidden arts to the academics. And they're buying it. Yeah, that's true. Better be careful about this. Fantastic news. Guinea has been meeting with academics, vouching for you. And nepotism is powerful in the sisterhood, apparently. Thank your mentor for me. I was super afraid with meeting the, the producers, but they welcomed me with open arms. I'm a future producer, after all. They were super interested in my peppermancy. Tried to seduce me towards Jasmine's side, but I stayed strong. Even managed to get some of them to sympathize with our program. Alright. 
Back with my meeting with the explorers, I explained to them why our program is the best prospect. They were quite skeptical, 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 but I managed to bring them, some of them, to our side. Cool. I'd like you to. I want you to look for allies and opportunities. See you in a few cycles. And you. I'd like you to promote our program. Oh, wait. Um. With the oracles. Ooh, exciting. I'll go and spread the good word, absolutely. I don't know who either of these are. Hi, dear Sister Fortuna, my name is Manaka. I'm one of the Explorer Witches in our coven. Meeting with members of every party to assess the best prospect for our projects, the continued research of this cosmos, and of course, the well-being of our sisters. Looking forward to meeting you, Manaka. Hello, Fortuna. So nice to meet you. Likewise. It's an honor to meet with the head of the explorers. Oh, I'm no head of anything, dear. The rest of the explorers like to call me that, but it's just an affectionate way of affectionate way of calling me old. <laughs> I know many witches hold you in great esteem, not only explorers. Well, I mentored a lot of them. I understand the daughterly love. There's no such thing as a head leader or chief with the explorers. In any case, I'm sure you'll have a lot of pull among them. I won't deny that. My word carries more weight than I'd like. It's not something I sought out. I would never brandish the love as a tool for a command. Anyway, enough about me. I always wanted to meet you. You know, I was planning on paying you a visit right before you were exiled. Oh yeah? At the time we were looking for an oracle to help us design a plan to travel inside a black hole. Whoa, I would have loved to be part of that. Well, unfortunately, the project was cancelled after we lost a young explorer in a black hole. The oracle was helping us at the time, told us she wasn't dead, but transported to a different era. That we'd probably never see her again. So sorry to hear that. Maybe with you on your side, it would have gone differently? Never know, I guess. Look at me, talking about myself again. I'm so sorry. Let's focus on the present, or you could have me telling war stories until the end of the race. <laughs> it's quite alright. So you're visiting every candidate. How's that going so far? It keeps getting harder and harder. I'm not just visiting the candidates, but also their advisors and other team members. And I just love you all too much. Future is going to be bright no matter who wins. I agree. It's a pity we have to compete to begin with. I know. It must be hard on you. You, Jasmine, and Dahlia are pretty close, right? My true family, I'd say. I hope this race makes you even closer after the dust settles. Yeah, me too. Wish I could have enjoyed some quiet time with my loved ones before getting thrown back into witch society this hard. We rarely choose our struggles. Why don't you stay out of it if the race is hard on you? I should have, shouldn't I? But I guess I do care about the fate of the coven. That's why I have to make sure it's our program we move forward with. Ah, uh, the clash of friendship and conviction. So tell me, is there a way to count on your support? Ha, <laughs> so blunt. It's a good sign. It's not that there's something specific you can do to get my vote. But yours is the only part of party with an oracle in it. I'm curious about that. So if it's not rude to ask, I would like to experience your divination. Specifically, how it may benefit the everlasting task of charting this universe. What do you have in mind? A simple request. Tell me about somewhere I haven't been. Uh, it's not so simple considering you're famous for having been everywhere. 
Everywhere I've known, at least. Guess there's no harm in writing up a place for Monaka to find. Should I overdo it and impress her, or should I stick to her request? I'll play it safe. Hey, well, I accept your challenge. <laughs> it's not a challenge, dear. Ahem. <clears throat> well, you're right. It is a challenge. Fair enough. It's alright. I can deliver. Uh, let's ask my desk for somewhere you haven't been. Okay, I'm starting to get excited. Hold on tight to that excitement while I shuffle my deck. And connect you with what felt like the first time you visited an uncharted place. What do we got? Oh, uh, booty butts. And Despacito. Booty butts do represent the unknown. Travel a light year below my house and you'll discover a planet whose atmosphere is immune to light. Drift inside the Horsehead Nebula. You'll find the skull of a massive behemoth the size of a moonstone temple. We go with the uh, light year below my house. Because I refuse to believe the Horsehead Nebula hasn't been explored. Come again? It's a planet immune to light under my asteroid home. First of all, there's no under when it comes to navigating sp space, but sure, I'll take it. But then what does immune to light even mean? Are you sure you're not just improvising some cheap sci-fi nonsense? When you put it like that, it sounds ridiculous. I don't know what being immune to light means, but I'm sure if you follow my directions, you will find just that. Ortuna, this is not a game to me. Are you sure you want me to travel one light year below your home right now? Yeah. I am 100% sure you will find it. Very well. I'll bet on your divination. What you just did, it's something else. I'm leaving immediately to explore. Can't wait to hear back from you. You bet you, you, bet you will. Thank you so much for indulging me. I'm starting to load up with magic. Especially water magic. Let's see. Super watery things. Not enough earth energy for this she shack. Shipwreck library. Uh, I guess I need lots of water. Put a bartender down there. Put an avian dancer down there. Yeah. We'll do that. Oh, and he's going to have a vanity mirror. Of course he will. You there. I need you to sit in her lap. There you go. Hold your mirror. You have birds flapping around above the water.
can one of these masks fit you? Go on, grab the mask. There we go. Drink it down a little bit. This guy's scaring the birdies. That's what he's doing. Scraw. They're all dropping their feathers. And I can give this thing a little eyeball here. I don't need this. All right, yeah, I can dig it. Bittersweet dance. The deity in the shipwreck scrutinizes every secret. The unique beauty of the avian accesses untapped emotions. The mirror dispels what isn't true. Blood of water can unleash hidden potentials. All right. Oh, hey. What's her face is back? Manaka. Did you find the thing? I found it. It was there. You're the real deal. Let me know when I can visit. What up, Manaka? Okay, you're the real deal. You must forgive me for all my condescension. A planet immune to light, impossible to discover in the vastness of these cosmos. We'll send a team there after the elections, but I touched it. I stood on it. It's there, even if it can't be seen. It's not like a black hole where light can't escape its pull. Botons can't interact with it. They just go straight through, like glass. But its surface was harder and denser than the Earth. You are incredible, Fortuna. Never witnessed such a display of power. Thank you. Worked with other oracles in the past to aid in our expeditions, but this? This is something else. See, centuries ago, I built a special orrery that continuously sweeps our charted space and mutates to depict any changes in our universe. Down to the precision of an asteroid, your cute little house does indeed appear there. So what the evidence points towards so far is either that the orrery is malfunctioning or that the place you sent me to didn't exist before our meeting. But that's impossible, of course. Ooh, I'm glad I played it safe with her request. Hmm. I'd like further to further test these capabilities of yours, if you don't mind. You have to start charging you, Manaka. <laughs> this time it's something pretty straightforward. Do you know what this is? Uh... Delicious? Some sort of puzzle box? So what was left with of Artwitch Kidama Kidamia when her coven scattered her remains. Her sisters aren't around anymore, but they trusted Capressa with this contraption. Capressa trusted me with solving its mystery. This is... Ancient. Even by witch standards. And you would like me to open it as a test? Oh, that would be an unfair demand. We've been stumped by it for ages now. I'd like to find a clue as to what it is using your divination. Alright, let's take a look at it. Yeah, ask my deck to put you on the path that'll untangle this mystery. 
Yes, please. I'll take a look at this artifact's future. Focus on everything you've learned about it. And on the countless hours you've spent studying it. Got the golden... Uh, oasis. And... Uranophobia. Ooh, discovery. And luck. I like that. Bloop. Only a behemoth can open it. You'll need to form a pact with one of them to discover what's inside the artifact. Say the songbooks of the deer folk, commit to their culture, and soon enough, be able to magically inspire how to unravel this mystery. Need to pierce through Kadamia's Andaleki. A witch named Luis can weave you a key to peel off the protective layers. Yeah. Let's get Luis in, in the mix. I missed her. You need to pierce through the Kadamia's... Yeah. Luis will help you. Oh, Luis? You know her? Yeah. She trained uh, to be an explorer back when she was a novice, but it didn't work out. She was too absorbed by that intellecty thing. She was more inter interested in the substance of things than in actual exploration. Lisa's is one of the kindest souls I've ever known. Would have loved to have her with us. She recently had to flee the coven to avoid Adana's punishment, right? Poor Luis. If only she waited a few weeks, Idana would have stopped being her problem. We need to invite her back. And having experienced your talents firsthand, this must be it. Finally, some progress into Kadamia's mystery. Thank you so much, Fortuna. You surpassed every expectation that I had. Even more than that, you made me fall in love with immortality again. Before meeting you, I was disillusioned with this cosmos already. I felt like I had seen it all. You tore through that like a supernova, not only showing me new places, but magic beyond my comprehension. Happy to hear it. You have my full support, and I'll vouch for you in front of our sisters. Look forward to the future of this coven with you at the helm. Thank you so much. See you in Congress. Good luck with the race.